In the bowl is all-purpose flour used in everyday cooking. And what we're going to do is try to add a flame to the flour and see if it burns, if it ignites. And you'll notice when the flame is added to it, it doesn't really burn or ignite. It does brown, it does blacken a little bit of it, but it really doesn't ignite or burn too well. And the reason is you have to spread out the particles of flour so that it's surrounded by enough oxygen gas molecules to start the chemical reaction and drive the chemical reaction. So we need to spread it apart. Well, let's see how to do that. I took about a cup of the all-purpose flour and put it into a sifter. And so I shake the sifter, spreading out the flour particles really widely. At the base, we have some birthday candles in a pie tin, and they're spread out a little bit as well. So as the individual particles hit the flame, there's enough heat from the flame to ignite the flour. So there's enough oxygen gas molecules around each flour particle because they've been spread out to ignite and fully burn. This also happens in grain silos. In grain silos, there's always a danger of some of the grain dust spreading out, and if there's an ignition or a spark, it can ignite all that grain and cause the silo to explode. This is very similar to that. Um, it's kind of neat to watch, and you see the hot air pushing up the smoke and the unburned flower particles up very quickly.